we have been challenged by some of the coolest YouTubers and Hollywood actors in the world to paint our Warhammer miniatures in the weirdest situations imaginable. In a race car, in a blizzard, while giving birth. So buckle up, this will be a journey. So it's Sunday morning, we just got sent our first challenge and I'm gonna have to go pick up Lucas because this challenge is gonna be fun. Lucas has no idea what challenge is uh, coming to him so it's gonna be fun to see his reaction. It'll be exciting. So Lucas, ready for your challenge? Yes. So if you just press play. Challenge number one, Jassa. If I were to put your very expert and skilled miniature painting skills to the test, to really challenge you, at the end of the day, it's all about the finesse and details that make miniature painting hard. So to really make it harder for you, I want you to paint a detailed miniature while in a race car on a racetrack. Put someone crazy behind the wheel. Not you. You're focusing on mini painting. Good luck, mate. What the f***? <laughs> How much are you gonna puke, Lucas? Uh, I mean, I've crashed with my own car once and I did not puke and I did not die. That's good. I have high hopes for this. I can't guarantee that you're not going to puke today. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice uh, water cup there, Lucas. Very nice. Very nice. Are you ready to go? No. Before you guys get to see me paint in a track car, let's give Emil his first challenge. Challenge two, Raul Cooley. From series such as I Zombie, Supergirl and Haunting of Bly Manor. Hello, Emil and Lucas. It's me, very amateur painter Rahul Kohli. Look, it's no secret you guys are fantastic at painting miniatures and you're an inspiration to all of us hobbyists. So I want to kind of sabotage that because why not? So I challenge you to paint a miniature whilst getting a tattoo. And I sincerely hope that levels the playing field because I'll be very upset if the final product is still better than anything I can do. Good luck. Nice. And once I showed Emil, he was like pleased. I want him to be in for the excruciating pain. Man, I haven't had a tattoo in like 12 years, so I'm really excited and happy about this challenge. I know that Emil has been talking about getting a tattoo on his left arm, so I've already sent over Emil's little Santa wish list to the tattoo artist. So I'm gonna have to build some form of rig and attach it to my chair. I am kinda jealous. I also want to get the tattooing of the inking of the body, Swedish tattoo artists. Meet Sebastian or Ink by Nero on Instagram. One of the best realistic tattoo artists in Sweden with multiple awards and a portfolio you die for. Starting to feel a little bit nervous. Sebastian has set up uh, pretty much everything. It's probably gonna take eight hours to do the tattoo. I don't know how long time the painting on my end is gonna take. I think I'm gonna get really low after like two hours. So a little bit nervous, but I think it's gonna be fine. I had forgot uh, how ticklish I am, so right now it's a mix of uh, having a sting on my arm and uh, laughing my ass off. I think it's gonna be better once it gets up here, but this area is very, very tickly. The first hour of painting while getting tattooed was actually a real breeze. I did not have any troubles and the painting was really easy. I had all the base coats down and could start working on the details. But that was about to change. I'm like 50% done with the model now, which is nice, but uh, my energy levels are dropping quite bad. The stuff that I've done in the last 30 minutes are not done to even 50% uh, of the level that I did the first hour. What do we think? A few more hours. <sighs> <laughs> 
After four hours, my tattoo session started nearing the end. And I had spent close to four hours on the Mini. It's been quite difficult just painting with one hand and not really being able to reach around it all the ways you want to do. But I have way surpassed my expectations to this point, especially considering the limitations. But now I think it's time to go back to Lucas and see how well he fares in the race car. First time probably ever someone is painting Warhammer inside of a rally car. And we're off to the races. The biggest challenge in the beginning was not to spill any of the paint or the water as we drifted around all the turns and corners of the track. Halfway through the race, bam! I just dropped my paintbrush and I can't find it for shit. So I have to sort of gently ask the driver, can you please turn into the pit stop so I can look for the paintbrush? I think they might have thought that I started to get ill and they wanted to puke, but not this time. Second laps, let's see if we can paint some uh, NMM highlights on this bad boy. Every 10 seconds or so I had to look up from the miniature and see the road where we were going because otherwise we would have had yesterday's dinner all over the car. The painting itself, it wasn't hard, it's not pretty, it's not easy. However, after 15 minutes I felt quite done. I did not know if it was worth pushing the extra 2-3 minutes, risking some of the, you know... <laughs> It's uh, very well. <laughs> As you can see, the wet palette from all the G-Force is just being all uh, mushed together. Forced, forced around. Uh, but uh, it's not that hard to paint. It's not nice by any means. No, but, oh, that's uh, actually looking really nice. And how well did Lucas Miniature end up looking? I guess you're gonna have to stick around to the end to see the grand reveal. Day after the race car session, Emil hit me with another challenge. Challenge three, Nerdforge. Hello guys, Martina from Nerdforge here. Uh, I've thought of a challenge for you and this might be <laughs> impossible to do, but if you could pull it off, I think it would be very funny. I want you to paint a miniature in a blizzard. <laughs> Sounds lovely, right? I just, we have it cold here. And, and, and everything is dark, so I, I thought that would be a lovely challenge for you. <laughs> Good luck! So, Lucas, challenge, excitement. I just checked out. It's kind of a stormy, windy situation going on. Fuck you, Nerdforge. Being challenged like this might be like an everyday situation for some of you people out there. But I promise you, with Squarespace, it's never been easier to build your own website. For one, it's completely free to build your own website. Even without any previous knowledge, you can try it out and make your completely own website. Either by using one of their gazillion, trillion, badillion, awesome looking, award winning templates, or creating it completely from scratch by using their step by step website guide. Their whole system is pretty much based on drag and drop. And anyone that's ever been to a website should be able to make their own website. A great example of this is obviously our own website where we both have been able to open a web shop where we sell our own items like t-shirts and brushes. But we've also, with super simple tools, been able to make our own web gallery as well as a list of all the tools we use in videos, whether it's the lights we use when we paint or which paints we prefer. Now, if you want to try to make your own website, head over to squarespace.com squidmar and when you're ready to launch, use the code squidmar for a 10% discount of your entire purchase of a website or a domain. Now let's get on to tattooing Emil. You know, in the beginning I was like, this is easy, I feel nothing. And now I'm like, fuck this. And all I could do now was push through. It took about a total of six and a half hours to finish the miniature and the tattoo. But after that, I had a paint job that I was more than happy with. And now we just gotta finish the last two challenges before you get to see the end result. Just the day after the tattoo challenge, I was brought to a white room with a massage chair and sent a new challenge by one of the coolest persons in the hobby sphere. Challenge four, Matt Mercer. Hey friends, Matthew Mercer here, voice actor and dungeon master of Critical Role. 
I've uh, been a longtime fan of y'all's work as a miniature painter myself. Uh, but I gotta say, I'm really curious to see how skillful your techniques would handle under a uh, very specific experience. You know those machines that kind of uh, recreate the cramps and labor pains that a lot of women have to deal with? What if you were to uh, endure something like that while trying to do your best possible job painting something? That, that I think would be a worthy endeavor. Hmm? I'll claim ownership of this control board for the massive electrifying pain thing. Emil, you're in for a treat. I don't know what I'm gonna feel about this because I have an inkling of a hunch that Lucas is going to claim the remote control for this one and I think it's gonna be really painful. But I'm gonna beat his paint jobs and beat him fair and square. So Lucas, suck it. The first five minutes was honestly quite okay. I did feel some pain, but it was still manageable. And then all of a sudden, ah! the fucker starts with some form of pulsing program, meaning that the muscle starts going like this on and off with like the highest power on. And it was incredibly difficult to focus on the painting and pick new paints whenever you had excruciating paints every three seconds. And then you have three seconds of rest and then it's like, ah! All of a sudden. Matt Mercer, thank you for enabling me to take out my cookie aggression. Very nice. Oh. Ow! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> okay, so now we're at 25. Oh my god. Describe <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't want to. <laughs> now we're in the deep labor. <laughs> Thank you, Lucas. That was a great time. As you might tell on my big smile, I had so much fun torturing Emil for about 30 minutes. And I have this hunch that we could probably find about a hundred more insane and fun challenges just like this. I don't know what the best way would be, probably if you guys smash the like button. So if we do like 12,000 likes or something, we'll do a second video where I maybe get to put the electrifying shockers on Emil's balls instead. Or maybe just right Riding a moose and painting miniatures, how awesome is that? But now it's finally time to see the last challenge and decide is it possible to paint Warhammer miniatures in a blizzard? Oh Jesus Christ, the snow is whipping! <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst experience I've ever had! Dog shit! <laughs> it looks like literal dog shit you find on the pavement! Thank you, Martina, for giving me this experience no. of seeing Lucas suffering. Let's try some glazing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it can't be done. Mission <laughs> failed. <laughs> Five minutes. How are you feeling? I was so confident in this challenge, <laughs> and right now I'm not confident. I'm demoralized. Who would have thought water freezes to ice? So all the challenges are done. How much time do you think you spent painting in total? <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> two challenges? I mean, I probably spent like 20 minutes brush on painting. Yeah, I feel like the challenges were a bit uneven. Maybe no. not unfair, but they were quite <laughs> different in terms of time. You pulled the long straw here. Yeah, but I also had way more pain. That was so fun. And you guys remember what Lucas said earlier, I think 12,000 is a reasonable thing. No, that's the best way of letting us know that you like this type of video. And on top of that, we'd love to hear you guys' thoughts on what the challenges could be. So yeah. write a comment. Where would the, the weirdest place to paint a mini be? But Emil, yes. I think it's finally time for, for a, a grand, grand reveal! reveal!
Thanks everyone for watching, everyone who helped us in this video. Especially these awesome Patreons. Yeah, you guys are legends, especially the top ones. And of course, this week's sponsor. Follow the link in the video description. Yeah. Have a good day, everyone. Bye-bye.